Hello, it's Roger Cox with RogerCox.net. Uh, thank you for joining me out here in this uh, beautiful place for, for my video. Um, I hope you enjoy what I have to, have to offer you today. Um, my topic is a topic about something that most network marketers are, are going to run up against at some point or another, whether they be new or whether they be old. And it's a topic that, uh, it's a question actually, that we get that sometimes we fear because we don't know how to answer the question. And so what I would like to do today is to take that question and turn it from a question and turn it more into a, a concept or a philosophy of a way to, a way to think about it. And I hope that uh, this will help you out. Excuse me while I get that mosquito out of the way. I hope that hopefully that this will help you out with, when you run across this. When you're presenting, making your presentation to, to a potential team member, uh, when you're done with the presentation, a lot of times uh, they will ask you, well, you know, how long have you been doing this? You know, and, and you know, they're, they're trying to figure out in their mind, you know, if they can figure out how long you've been doing it and they can kind of gauge your success or your lack of success and they can see whether this is something that, that, uh, that, that might work. And more importantly, they're trying to, to, to see whether this might work for them, you know, because maybe they think, uh, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna put this out in words for sure, but they might be thinking it in their mind and they're thinking, you know, well, you know, deep down, I feel like I'm more successful this guy than this guy. So if he did it, you know, I can probably do it and do just as well. Or they might be thinking, you know, well, this this guy is is more successful than I am, and he has not been able to do very well with it. So I'm not sure that I could do any better. So that's kind of what's going on in the back of their mind when they when they ask the question. And so, as a as a network marketer, you you kind of fear that question because you don't know how to answer it. Because if you're brand new in in the business and you haven't had a lot of success yet, you know, the the thought processes that go through your mind are something along these lines, and it's, you know, I'm brand new. I haven't been doing this very long. I have no experience. I have no have no results yet. Why is this guy going to want to join me in, in my business? And that's a that's a debil debilitating thought. On the other hand, if you've been in the business for a long time and you haven't had the results that that you would like to have, and they ask you that question, then you're thinking, oh boy, I've been in this business a long time. I have no results. Uh, for that, for the length of time I've been in this business, I'm going to appear to be a failure in this guy's eyes. So it's a it's a question that you know that bothers us sometimes, and we just don't know how to answer it. So I'm going to suggest something that if we take this question and turn it around, and we're going to make a philosophy out of this. You know, it's it's really not about how long you've been do, been in the business, whether you've been in for a couple of weeks or you've been in you know a couple of decades. It's really not about how long you've been in the business, but what it is about is how many conversations have you had during that time. So if you've only been in for a couple months and you've been having lots of conversations with people, you've been talking to them, talking to them about your business, whether that be belly to belly, face to face, or whether you're doing that uh, online uh, through Facebook, Twitter, whatever. If you've had a lot of conversations, then your, your results are gonna, eventually they're gonna, they're going to pan out. You're going to be doing good. On the other hand, if you've been in for a long, long time and you haven't had very many conversations, then then you're just not going to get the people in your business and be successful that you need to be. So it's more a matter of not how long you've been in the business that makes the difference. It's a matter of how many conversations have you been able to have. You know, in the old days, you know, that meant you had to talk to them uh, face to face, belly to belly. It was a little harder. Nowadays, with the technology, uh, I can. You can put out a video, you can push the button, and depending on your audience, you can be talking to tens of hundreds up to thousands of people with, with, with just one video. So you can have a lot of conversations. So in order to get over this, this quandary, this question about, you know, how do I handle the question, how long have I been in business? If you can turn that around and just think in terms of, in, in the amount of time that I have been in this business, how many conversations have I had with people? And that's what makes the difference. So that's my my take for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, if you like it, and if you find that this might be in, uh, of interest or of help to to your team members, uh, share it. Uh, give give me the like button. Share share the content. Go to my website at rogercox.net. That's where my blog is. That's r o g e r c o x dot n e t. And uh, and I'll be seeing you on a on a future video. Thanks for watching.